Here you are. Well, hey, at past ten. What are they doing up there? They'll come on, Betty. Don't play innocent with me. We both know what they're doing up there. Well, they shouldn't be. It's Monday morning. It's time for work. It's not time for... For love? Exactly. Come on, where's your sense of romance? Surely any time is a good time for love. And you can stop looking at me like that and all. Why is that? Am I setting your heart to flip? Oh, you daffy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, all. Is that kettle on? It's hard to call this. Oh, well, I call it half past ten, Betty. What time do you call it? I'll get you a cup of coffee. Everything OK? Everything's fine, mate. Morning. Hey. <laughs> hey, come on, you pair. I don't have to throw a bucket of water over you. Right, well, I'd better get off to work. I've got a race meeting this afternoon. I don't know what time I'll be back. I'll ring you. Okay. See you later. See ya. What? <laughs> Nothing. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, well, looks like you had good weather then. Come on, Ellie, get them cakes in here. Oh, no, not really. Folks have gone away to visit Blank, so that means you've got the household to yourself. Really? Mm. So, uh, anything happened while I was away? Nah, nothing. Very quiet. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Some of us have to work. <laughs> Hiya, Luce. What can I do for you? Uh, well, to be honest, it's not really convenient right now. Well, why can't you tell me on the phone? Is it Simon? Oh, look, I I'm, I'm gonna come over. I'll be there right away. Start of a slippery slope, is that? What are you talking about? Lying in bed half the morning, while me, Karen and Harry are doing all the work. Betty, we're trying for a baby. Yeah, we guess that's what you're doing. No, I really mean it. We're going to start a family. Oh, well, oh, you'll find life very different when you've got a little baby, you know. No more lions. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are you doing, love? Oh, my Aunt Elsie bought me for a wedding oh. present. I've not got around to put the photos in it yet. Oh, look at that one. Oh, do you know, you look like a princess. Oh. <laughs> Luce, look, why couldn't you say what it was on the phone? Because I wanted to see you face to face. And where's Simon? I mean, is he all right? He's having a nap, he's fine. Will you just relax? Well, I've, I've been worried sick all the way over. Has he had a test? I mean, what is it? Is it his ear and his eyesight? Just tell me, please. Peter, this isn't about Simon, it's about you. Right. Well, I'm, I'm a bit relieved, but I'm still confused. Look, Luce, I'm not a bright man, OK? So can you tell me things so I'll understand? OK. Well, I'm not really sure how to put this. Sit down. <clears throat> the thing is, after you left yesterday, I got talking. To Mandy? Yeah, to Mandy, and I got thinking about what I want, about what Simon wants, and just trying to work out how I feel about everything. OK, and? And... I think we should try again. Try again? And try what again? <laughs> try being married again. I'm sorry, Luz, I just... I just don't understand where all this has come from. I don't know myself. I think it was watching you get all hot under the collar about Dan. Yeah, you know, what about Dan? I mean, I thought that you and him were getting close. Not really. No, not really, but that's not what you said the other day. Luz, please forgive me, I'm sorry, but I just think that you don't know what you want here. The more I look at you, the more I've stopped seeing the horns, the tail, the cloven feet. I started to see the old Peter, the one that I fell in love with. And I thought you felt the same way. Lewis, you can't just turn these things on and off. I did a terrible thing to you. I lied, I betrayed you. I know, and I reckon I've seen the worst of you. It's just when I see how good you are with Simon, I think I deserve more of the best. Peter. Peter, I thought you still had feelings for me. Of course I have feelings for you, Luz. But it's not the same anymore, is it? I, I let you down, you kicked me out and you were right. Listen, I've spent so long trying not to have feelings for you, trying to put every thought of you out my head. I mean, I don't know what I feel anymore. I'm worried that you don't either. I mean, you were wrong about Dan. You are wrong about me. Luz, there's a baby asleep in there. All I want to do is do what's best for him. And right now, we've got something that works. Okay? 
But I just think we should stick with that for now. Wow, I'm shocked you've turned me down. No, I... Look, I, I don't know what the future holds, do I? You know, maybe you wanted too much from Dan. You know, you never know. Somebody else might come along and, you know, things will change again. Someone else? Yeah, but I mean, I don't know, do I? Look, Lewis, of course I've got feelings for you. You know I have. I always will have. But I just, I can't help thinking that you could do better than me. You deserve better than me. I'll tell you what, eh? When Simon's ready to get married, if we've not found anybody by then, then we'll give it another try. What do you say? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, um, I must have misread the signal somewhere. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, that'll be Manti. She said she'd pop round. So. Okay, well, I'd better go, but if you want anything, you call me, okay? Any time's fine. Well, Right, I'll have to love you and leave you. So uh, I'll see you soon. Yeah, bye. Bye, Bye. But, but, he says, I deserve better. He might be right. Oh, I think I've frightened him. In my experience, men frighten very easily. He said he's tried hard not to have feelings for me. Like he knew he'd burnt his bridges and there's no chance we'd ever get back together. He said we can't trust our feelings for one another. Sounds confused. I know I am. Confused and frightened. I think now we've got Simon, he doesn't want to make the same mistake oh, again. Oh, there you go. He needs more time. I don't. Lucy, I know what I want and I think he wants the same thing. He just won't admit it to himself. You know, I could see he was frightened. I could see it in his eyes. He wants this as much as I do. He's just scared. Could you look after Simon for an hour? Well, I don't need to ask where you're going. You need to push, that's all. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so no, no, sorry no, no, no. I wasn't looking. Sorry, Robin, my fault, right in the clouds. Perhaps a couple of losers of you. <laughs> At least you went the right way. Me, I never learned. No, I, I was looking for, for Peter. Peter? Peter Barlow? That's right, do you know him? Well, I should do. He's took a fair amount of money off me and his chat. Uh, I'm a widow with his wife. Excuse me? Well, I'm sure you know where he is. His wife? Hi, Shelley. She manages the Rover's return, eh? Are you sure? I spend my days in here and my nights in there. Peter and Shelley provide an invaluable service to me, love. A lovely couple. Right, yeah. Right. Thanks. Yes, so what can I get for you? Uh, I'm afraid we're all out of hot food, but we've got some lovely ham sandwiches left. I'll just have a dry white wine, thanks. Oh, right. Is uh, Shelley in? Shelley? Uh, yes, love. Who are you, then? I'm uh, uh, a friend. Oh, I see. Well, she's in the back. Do you want me to go and get her? No, no, it's all right, thanks. The, um, she'll be out in a minute, I dare say. That's uh, two pound ten. Thanks. Thank you, love. Fancy seeing you here. Sit down. Well, I haven't got a drink yet. Sit down now. What's the matter? Somebody has just told me that Peter's married to Shelley. The thing is, Luce, look, I've been on holiday, look, my town, I don't really know what's going on here. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. He's married to me. Then he's married to both of you. Betty, you do us a favour. Will you check if we need anything with the cat? Yeah, she doesn't know. No, she doesn't. <coughs> Luce! Hiya. Hiya, Lucy the florist. Oh, yeah, Tracy used to work there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We did the flowers for our Sharon's funeral. Oh, they were lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, can I get you a drink? Uh, yeah, uh, another dry white wine for me. Right? Yeah, me too. Right. Two white wines here, then. I'll get a wheel up. Oh, thanks, Betty. Hey, Tracy, I've been sorting out the wedding photos. There's some gorgeous ones for you. Did you tell me you went to Shelley's wedding, Tracy? When was this? Um, 20th of July, yeah. Tracy was one of my bridesmaids. She looked beautiful. Not as gorgeous as the bride, I hope. Oh, well, it's not for me to say, is it? <laughs> thank you, Betty. Okay. Uh, that's £4.20, please. Uh, have one yourself. Oh, thank you. Um, well, I've not finished sorting them yet. Would you like to have a look at the album? I'd love to see it, yeah. Oh, right, I'll go and get it then. 
don't need to rub her nose in it. Yeah, I feel like she's rubbing my nose in it. At least you know the truth now. Yeah, nothing like seeing it with your own eyes, is there? Right, here it is. So, there's a happy couple. <laughs> and then it sort of goes in chronological order. Bean pizza. Just, so I need to sit down. Is she all right? Her bloat's just let her down. She's um, feeling a bit fragile. <laughs> Um, you all right? I came here to find Peter, to tell him I wanted another go, another go at being man and wife. Dear, oh dear, it's all you can say to me, Tracy. You knew all about this. You knew he was married to both of us. Why didn't you say something? Because he told me he was getting a divorce from you, and you believed him. Well, you know, Peter, it can make things sound very plausible. married to Shelley. And he doesn't know that she knows? No. I didn't know what to do. It's not my fault. I didn't make him marry two women. You know, this mess is entirely his own fault. Yeah, but at least he could do his one. Yes, well, I've tried that, but he's not, he's not answering his phone. Evening all. Molly, we're popular tonight, aren't we? Who are you? I'm a friend of Peter's. Look, he's not here. We don't know where he is. Well, it's a public house, isn't it? I've just come for a drink. Come on, love. You don't really want to cause us here. Is that really going to do you any good? Why don't you let me speak to Peter? And then I'll send him over to you, and you can do whatever you like to him. You're going to throw me out? No, of course not. Well, I'll have a large gin and tonic then. And one for my good friend and bridesmaid, Tracy. Right, love. I'm off. Oh, Betty, look, I'm sorry about before. I, I won't make a habit of it. Oh, you young. I was young once. <laughs> Making my face up for the man I loved. Oh, this isn't for Peter. Oh, oh, it's for the punters. <laughs> when I was little, I used to watch my mum do it every night before opening. I wouldn't go to bed until I'd seen her put her face on in the mirror. <laughs> it's amazing the rituals you pass on, isn't it? One day my daughter will watch me do it. Anyway, have a good night, lovey. Bye-bye, Bye, Bye darling, bye. Hello again. Are you feeling better? It's a bit upset before. Yeah, and you move on, don't you? Pick yourself up, dust yourself down. Start all over again. Yeah, that's right. Look, I was thinking maybe we could go for a meal or something. I've already eaten, thanks. Besides, it's nice here. It's a really nice pub. Oh, thank you. Do our best, don't we? Yeah, we do. So, did you finish your wedding album? No, I've not time. <laughs> Probably stay half done for months now. <laughs> Would you mind if I had another look? It's just, I didn't really see it before. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll go and get it. What are you doing? I'm just being friendly. Shelley's done nothing to you. Really? Do you know that? Do you know that for sure? My life was turned upside down today. I'm not sure of anything anymore. I think you should go. You'll have to throw me out. Look, I'm still feeling guilty. I don't know why we didn't use you for the flowers for the wedding. I must ask Peter when he gets back. We're low on pound coins, No, we're not. Stop to tell myself. Lovely. <laughs> so happy. I mean, it wasn't all plain sailing, but I look back now and it was the happiest day of my life. Would you like to see mine? Your what? My wedding album. It wasn't such a grand deal as yours, but it meant a lot to me at the time. Shelley, love, it looks like we're married to the same man. Is this supposed to be some kind of joke? If it is, nobody's told me. So what are you say? You don't get it, do you? I'm married to him as well. Uh, look, maybe you two. Maybe this isn't the right place. Married? To Peter? My Peter? Mm. Only he's not yours. He's what you might call ours. Look, why don't you two go through to the back? I don't mind. We can do this anywhere. We can pin these pictures up on your notice board if you like. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Come through and you can, um, tell me what this is about. OK, but I thought I'd already done that. Blame me because I don't tell her. Never mind who told her. It's telling Peter we have to do now. Let him know what he's in for. Pound of bitter in the light bottle, please. Right away, Jack. You have a go, will you? Sit down. Thank you. Let's see him again. You can look at them for as long as you like. They're not going to change. They show me and Peter on our wedding day. Well, I have to take your word for that, don't I? Because, um, 
There's no uh, church or bridesmaids are out. It was a registry office wedding, us and two witnesses, one of you standing out there in your bar. So you say? And I'm saying that these pictures don't prove anything. I mean, they could have been taken anywhere. A, a race meeting, for instance. Oh, please. They could. And now you're bringing them here to, well, I don't know, to, to cause trouble for me and Peter for some reason. Let's ask Tracy then, shall we? She's in there. Should we go and ask her? So, so if you are married to Peter, like you say, then why isn't he living with you, eh? Why does he live here with me? Because two days after these were taken, I threw him out. And why did I do that? Because I found out he was still engaged to you. And when's all this supposed to have happened? March the 24th this year. The 24th? And I've got the certificate to prove it. Well, it can't be. Because the 24th was when we buried my sister. It was our Sharon's funeral. And Peter was there. Well, he must have been in two places at once then. It wasn't just me. There was loads of people there. What time did he leave? What time was you... What you're saying was your wedding? Half one. Only he was late. I wasn't expecting him to turn up then. Suddenly there he was. We got married and two days later I found him talking on his mobile phone to you. Believe me, don't believe me. Me and Peter were married. We still are married. In fact, we have a child. No. Yeah. Simon. He's three months old. Yeah, I've got a picture of him as well. He's got a look of his dad, don't you think? No, I can't. The stupid phone keeps asking me to try again later. Do you not realise later's too late? Yeah, well, I can't do out, even if we get through. Well, we can let him know what's happened. He can... yeah, we should buy a drink first, don't you think? Why, right, we've not come here for a drink. Well, it's commercial etiquette. If you want to use the facilities, you first make a purchase. What would you like? Orange juice, then. Two orange juices, please, Kieran. Stay off the vodka, are you? Yes. You try again, will you? Say what if I get through? Ask him if he knows a quick way out of the country, and if he does, now's the time. And Peter knows about him? Peter knows all about him. Peter visits him regularly. In fact, he wants us to get back together so we can be a proper little family. At least that's what he was saying when he called around this morning. Yeah, and yesterday. Came about 11. Didn't stay long, though, because a friend of mine arrived. If what you're saying is true, and you threw him out when you found out he was still engaged to me, and why would you let him call on you? Why would you have anything more to do with him? Because he was that desperate to see Simon, he wouldn't take no for an answer. Kept saying how he wanted to help bring him up, be a proper father to him. But you must have known he'd gone and married me. Yeah, funny he never mentioned that. No, if he referred to you at all, it was as though you were ancient history, like he didn't see you anymore. And, um, on these times when he called round to see you, did you carry on like you were still married? Sleeping together? No way. Let's just get one thing straight, shall we? I haven't come round here to tell you I've been having some sort of affair. So don't think you can put me in the mistress category. No, I am the legal wife, right? We were married 24th of March this year and it was all legal and above board. It's your marriage that was the farce. Well, I say marriage. Could hardly be, though, could it, if he was already married to me? It was as far as I was concerned. Well, yeah. I can see from your photos you must have pushed the boat out, wedding and a half. Just a shame that in the eyes of the law it didn't amount to much more than a fancy dress party. Or well, do you still think this is some kind of joke? Good. Well, we're getting somewhere then, aren't we? So where is he? He's at a... As far as I know, he's at a race meeting. Well, I'm here, so he's not with me. Maybe he's telling the truth for once. What time are you expecting him back? I'm not sure. I suppose you must be used to him disappearing, not knowing when he's going to turn up again. I just don't believe that he can never have told you that we were getting married. I just don't... I've explained to you... No, what? You listen to me. Now I've listened to you. I just don't believe that all this could have happened and that you carried on seeing him and he didn't realise that he was in another relationship. He was seeing somebody else. But I did realise and that's why I threw him out. After that. After you'd had your baby when you started seeing him again. Well, I didn't care. You might have had a dozen relationships. What did that matter to me? So you didn't care that you were doing to somebody else what you say I was doing to you? Oh, I see. So now it's my fault, not Peter's. No, I just don't know. You couldn't have known, that's all. The same way that you didn't, because he's a good liar. Good enough to get you to marry him when he was still married to me. <sighs> and... 
Is he... Is he really the father of your baby? Oh, why should I say it if it's not true? I wish it weren't. I didn't want him anywhere near. I tried to stop him coming to the hospital, I tried to stop him from coming round to the flat, but no. He was determined. Simon's his son. But you know what? You don't have to take my word for it. When he gets here, you can ask him. Can't hear a thing. Either they've killed each other or they're keeping their powder dry till Peter gets back. Well, I still can't get him on this. We have to warn them now. We can't just let him walk in. Yes. Did you find out? I went looking for him in his shop. Somebody helpfully suggested why didn't I go and ask his wife where he was. In his shop? Yeah. I thought it was all him calling on you. Well, it was. Only recently he's been talking about us wanting to get back together and demanding I give him an answer, which is what I've come to do. What answer? Well, I don't think we need to worry about that now, do we? There's only one answer he's going to get now, and I'm going to enjoy giving it to him. Look. I'm really sorry, but I want you to go. I want to see him by myself. Look, I'm sorry too. I'm not going to walk away, not from this. I'm either waiting in here or in that bar. Maybe he'll not turn up at all. Maybe somebody's told him and he's run off rather than face either of us. Evening, Emily. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Aren't you going in? Oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm going to use the back door. It stops me being tempted having a quick <laughs> before my tea. Very wise. Oh, certainly am. It's only me. Well, here he is, the husband. What, uh, What's happening? It's your two wives, together at last. A shell. So it's true, is it? Well... You married to her? I suppose I am, as it happens. Yeah. I missed them. He came in the back. Oh, well, never mind. I mean, you did your best, eh? Look, I just want to say one thing, OK? And it's this. And you, 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 you might not believe me. I mean, you probably won't, but this is true. I, I never planned it. I never planned to be married to both of you. An accident, was it? Just happened? It just happened because, look... I was going out with you. Shell, and I met Lucy and, well, I fell for it, I did, but I told you that, didn't I? Didn't I, didn't I tell you? I told you that I'd had this relationship. Yeah, and that it meant nothing, and that it ended before Christmas, before we got engaged. Well, yeah. Yeah, but it didn't, did it? Cos you went and married her in March. Yeah, but then it was over. That was it, it was finished. Except for the little matter of a son. Yeah, she knows all about Simon. Yeah, well, but look, that... That wasn't planned, either. Shell, I was going to tell you about Lucy. I was, but look, then your sister died, didn't she? And how could I? I couldn't tell you, could I, the state you were in? So you left my sister's funeral and you went and married her instead? Which sounds awful, I know that, but what else could I do? Shell, that was the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life. Well, no, it's not true. This is the hardest, the hardest till now. So, I married Lucy, OK? And I was... I was going to tell you about her, OK? But then she found out about you and she kicked me out. And that was it. It was finished. That's what I honestly thought. I honestly thought, that's it. It's over, so then. And what would have been the point in telling you? Then I'd have known the truth and I could have made my own mind up. And I wish I would have done. Believe me, I wish I would have done now. But at the time, I thought, no, it's OK. Don't say anything. Just get a divorce and then everything will be OK again. You haven't, though, have you? Because I can't. We, we have to wait 12 months. We have to be married for 12 months. You tell her, yes? Yes, but yes. I think the idea is you have to wait another 12 months before you marry someone else. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Right, OK. Well, and you'd have liked that, wouldn't you? If you would have had to wait that long, Shell, honestly, would you have accepted that? No. Oh, see how it's either your fault or mine. No. Never his. It's my fault. I know that. I admit everything here. I admit it's my fault, OK? 
So, why do you go around and see her then? Shall I don't? She's You've been coming round to my flat every week, twice sometimes. You were there this morning. Are you denying that? No, I'm not I used to try and shut you out, Peter, and you wouldn't go away. Yes, and why? Because the Simon that... Shell, so that's... that's mine. Um. So, listen, if I went round there at all, which, yes, I admit it, I did sometimes, then it was only to see him, it was to see Simon, it was never, ever to see her, OK? So why, all the times you were there, did you never tell her about us? Yeah, Peter, why didn't you? What about us? About us getting engaged. About us being married. Well, obviously, because. Because I daren't. Daren't? No, I daren't. Because I know what she's like. Oh. She'd want to get at you. Or she wouldn't let us have a divorce. Shell, I don't know what she'd have done, but I couldn't risk it. So now it's my fault. And I'll tell you something else. I'm right. Because what's she doing? As soon as she's found out, she's come round here and she's trying to split us oh, up. Oh, no. Oh, no? Well, I'm sorry. Well, well, then what's this, then? I came round here to find you to talk about your idea of us getting back together. Ah, uh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That was never my idea, Shell. That's, that was her idea. That's the last thing I wanted, honestly. Oh, so, so what was I doing, then? Well, you found out! I found out when I got here! <sighs> I was the one who showed her our wedding photos. She only went to get hers when she'd seen mine. When you married me, you wanted Shelley. And then when you married Shelley, you wanted me back again. There's probably a name for it, some kind of syndrome. I don't ever want you back. And you know that because I told you. This is terrible. You know, it's, it's terrible for both of you. For all of us, it, it's terrible. And it's my fault. It's all my fault. I've lied and, and I've kept things a secret when I shouldn't have. But now we all know the truth, all three of us. We know everything. So, now what? You do not come round to my flat ever again. You do not go near my son ever again. But what you can do, you can pay for him. You can pay for him for the rest of his life. Which I did offer to do. And I said no. Well, now I'm saying yes. But I don't want to see you, and I don't want him seeing you, ever. Have you got that? Yeah. And we all know why you're saying this, don't we? Because you have been lying through your teeth to both of us and now you've been found out. No, this is you trying to get revenge because I turned you down when you wanted to give it another try. Oh, yeah. Believe whatever you like. Oh, I do, because it's true. I could have had you back whenever I wanted, Peter, <laughs> as Shelley probably knows. But of course I didn't want you, so you took her as second best, which I think she probably knows as well. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm sure you've got plenty to talk about. So it's my turn now, is it? I'm not saying that you planned it. That you wanted to be married to the both of us. I wish I would have planned it. Then we wouldn't have been in this mess. Yeah. I suppose you were going to tell me about her. I was. But I was in a state over Sharon, so... You felt that you couldn't. Shell, that's it. That is all that I ever wanted was not to hurt you, love. That was months ago. There's been ages since when you could have told me. Yeah, and I would have done. Honestly, I would have done once I got that divorce. Would you, though? Yes. I don't think you know what you'd have done. I think you make it up as you go along. Anyway, never mind that. Point is, when you had a free choice, at the beginning of all this, when you were engaged to me and you were seeing her, so you had a free choice. You went and you chose her. And I got it wrong. But then I came back, didn't I? I came back to put things right with you. Only because she kicked you out. I'm sorry, Peter. But I want you to go. Shell, please, just... I want you to go. I don't want you here a minute longer. What, you want me to move out? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I can see who that'll please, eh? Cos I'll be miserable, I think you'll be miserable, but Lucy will be laughing her head off. She will have achieved exactly what she came here to achieve. I Shall don't have... care about Lucy! I care about us! And the one thing I 
know right now is I can never, ever trust you again. Even the things you say no. I can't believe a word because you're twisting and you're turning. Saying this wasn't your fault and that wasn't your fault. You're going to do that, but you're going to do the other thing. Will someone always stop you? Well, the one thing I do know is when he came to it, Peter, you chose her over me. And the only reason you came back is because she kicked you out. And I'm glad she did. Well, I'm not. I wish she'd have kept you. Because it would have saved me from this sham marriage. Farce, she called it. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was a farce of a marriage. One that, one that you begged me to go through! Right here in this room, Peter! You begged and you pleaded me to go through! When you knew you were already married to her! Because that's how much I wanted you to show that it is. <laughs> you know something else, do you? Do you? No. Do you know something else? All this talk of trying to start a family. <laughs> but you already had a family, didn't you? You've already got a family, Peter. <laughs> you know what? You can go to him now. Because I never want to see you again. Ever. Now get out. Get out. Oh, Peter, I've been trying to warn you, man. Yeah? Well, I wish somebody had 12 months ago. So what's been decided? Well, just that I'm the lowest of the low. And neither of them want anything to do with me again, ever. I'm sure you'll come round. I don't think so somehow, wait. Not this time. You know the allotment? <sighs> she's throwing him out. So it's back to Lucy, is it? No, the way he talks, she's not too keen on him either. Looks like he's gone straight from two wives to none at all. <laughs>